Hello everybody, welcome back to Pokemon Violet. In the last episode, we did take on the poison base of Team Star as well as the normal type gym. And now Mona Lisa wants to give us a little battle with uh, La Primera watching, so let's, let's accept this. Thank you kindly, I'm excited to see you two face off, let's do it. She evil, I feel like she's evil. I don't know why. Hopefully I'm incorrect, but we'll find out, right? In this episode, we're going to be taking on, it looks like, the ghost type gym and the ground titan. The ghost type gym is in the snow, so that's quite exciting. Located northwest of Mesagosa. Yes, I understand. I've been, I've, I've, I've been told this and I've gone through this before in many other games. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, buddy, really? All right. Thank you. I appreciate it. Why can't Pokemon Centers be that fast? Let's do this. A fruitful battle. Let's do this, Mona. Uh, Moana. Mona. Namona. Namana. Oh, wow. You have a Lycan Rock, huh? Well, I got a Steel type for you, and I'm about to bonk you on the head. Bro, I just thought of the most amazing name for Tinkatuff The Junker Queen. She has like a hammer, and it's like, it looks like it's bolted on and everything. That's smart. Uh, steel type is stab, so I'm gonna do a uh, metal claw here. It's gonna bite me. Shouldn't do much. I am a fairy type. Wow, he dodged it. Okay, let's try this again. You're going for flinches, huh? That was a crit. Wow, I miss, I crit, get crit, and then I flinch, huh? Come on now. There we go. Just to do no damage. Why is this thing so so weak? Oof, that was a good one. Wow, I hit a super effective move because I'm not an idiot and you have to give me a cutscene as explaining why I'm so good at it. Be quiet. You better not miss again, Tinkatuff. There we go. Get that attack boost. There we go. That's what I'm talking about, Tinkatuff. I'll just heal up. Ooh, you look angry. You look angry. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, let's use up a hyper potion right here. Now that we do have that attack increase, we should be doing a lot more damage, obviously. That was Essa Rock. Sounds like it would increase your speed, but I guess it didn't. Another bite, Tinkatuff. Don't you flinch on me. There you go, girl. Living on just a sliver, but we got the other attack increase. We're going crazy right now. Uh, let's Draining Kiss for the HP that we could get, which is going to be minuscule, but better than nothing. That one HP is amazing. Excuse me. What are you going to switch out to now? Think it's tough at level 35. Nice. Wants to learn to move play rough. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, get out of my way, Draining Kiss. Yeah. One, two, and ta-da, we learned play rough. Pomo. You don't even have a Pomot. What kind of trainer are you? Play rough is super effective. Good thing we just learned it, huh? Spark. Holy crap, that did a lot. I did not expect that. This should one shot though. That's what I'm talking about. Tinka Top, you're going crazy. You're overloading. I wonder if Tinkatuff could be a, a male, because who wants to learn Poison Jab? Mm, base 80, we have Gunk Shot, which is base 120. Of course, it does have a chance to miss, but we're going to we're gonna risk it for the Biscuit. A Gumi. We're going we're gonna to stay in with Tinkatuff here. How the hell does she not have Evolved Pokemon yet? Uh, 36, I'm assuming she's going to outspeed me. 
So let's heal up just in case. This is Tinka Tuff's episode. Her hammer is literally sheets of metal with a band-aid on it. Water pulse. There we go. Did nothing. Um, Gumi is a dragon type, so play rough again, of course. I'm going to miss this, of course. You could tell you miss it because there's a delay in it. Hopefully they don't paralyze me or confuse me, I should say. There we go. Let's hit him with a play rough. This is super effective times two. Bada boom, bada bing. And last but not least, she has the water type, right? She does. Um... Excuse me. We're going to stay in. We have a times two attack. No reason to switch out. And I think this thing's a fire water type. Quaquaval. This thing looks so dumb, bro. Look at it dancing. It looks so stupid. It's about to die. You're about to die. Time to terrestrialize. I forgot that this was a thing. <laughs> so it's not going to be a it's not going to be a fighting type. She really struggles with that uh with that terrestrialization. This thing is so dumb. Is it salsaing? Okay, I'm pulling out all the stops. Get ready. Oh, I'm ready, Mayona. Ma no mana. Aqua step. Let's see how much this does to me. Holy smokes. In your speed rows, huh? You think you could do this to me and get away with it? You have another thing coming for you. I'm about to end your career. Palma, hit him with a frickin' wild charge. Get this guy out of my face. That's pretty strong, though. <clears throat> no, I'm gonna be real with you. That's pretty damn strong. But I'm stronger! Whoa. Um, you're using a water type move. I have nothing to resist this. Do I have any priority move at all? It doesn't seem like it. You are speedy. I think I should just eat up a hit and then go into Skullvillian. That's what I'm going to do. Like, unless, unless I outspeed you. I don't know. I don't see why I would. Yeah, Aqua Jet. You have a priority move anyways, so it doesn't really matter. Good job, Palm Up. We're getting him nice and low for us. And now we can go into Skullvillian. Pretty much eat up a move because it's just going to be neutral, I believe. And we can end him with a Razor Leaf that doesn't miss. Okay. Uh, we have Sturdy on Knackle Stack. <laughs> Should have done this from the beginning, but you know. You can't you can't aim everything correctly, right? Oh, let's hit him with the headbutt. Regardless of what we use, pretty sure we're gonna kill it anyways, because its HP is so low. Damn, that thing really did give me trouble though. Props to you. Qua qua vol. Qua qua vol. Qua qua vol. However you say it. Get out of my face, you ugly duck. Perfect name, the ugly duckling. Bada boom, bada bing. Good job, Knuckles Tech. I'm proud of you. Oh, and she's she's twirling her hair. She likes me. People are gonna stop start paying more and more attention to you. I just know it. Got some Pokedex entries nice and and beautifuled up. I don't make much sense, but oh well. An amazing display of talent, even against one as skilled as champion Nemona. Oh, splendid to watch. I enjoy watching very much. Yes, I have gotten more potential than you have ever seen before. My power scale is on a different level. <clears throat> Terra Blast. Ooh, what is this? It's a move Carlos talked about. 
If the user Tarasolize unleashes energy of its terror type, the move inflicts damage you using attack or special attack, whichever is higher. So this is basically stab any type of damage. Bada boom, bada bing. That's really great for Pokemon that have different terror types. One day, you and I are going to have the greatest battle of all. I know it. I'm going to train up. So I'm assuming she's going to be the champion you fight. And Endgame is going to be fighting this individual right here. She shows you such support and friendship. Or perhaps she hopes you truly might rival her. I am rivaling her. She hasn't beaten me once. No, I think there's no mere hope. She seems to have complete faith that you'll catch up to her. Again, another crappy narrative that this game gives as if she's supposed to be so much better than me, though she's never shown it. Like, why would I assume that she's better than me if she's never been better than me? I don't know. I'm just complaining now. So now what we're going to be doing... As soon as this game loads, I'm, I'm assuming I'm going to have to talk to someone, right? I'm not. Talk to the waiter at the treasure eatery. Why would I have to do that? It looks like I don't have to. Basically, I'm going to be going north. Up to here. And I think this is the next place right here. The ghost type gym leader. Yep. And actually, before we do that, I'm going to make a quick pit stop somewhere. All right, so we're at the Deli Bird uh, store, we could call. And I'm going to see if I can get a choice scarf from here. Silk scarf. No, that's not what I'm looking for. Choice scarf increases the speed stat. Awesome. Pay with cash, of course. That costs 100. <laughs> Holy sh... Okay. I am now a broke boy, but uh, <laughs> the reason why I wanted that is because if I come on over to uh, the item, which is, where would that be? Other items? Choice scarf. I'm going to give this to my Gravehound, and the reason why is because uh, we're going to be fighting the gym, the ghost type gym leader, right? So it makes sense to do that. And of course, the move that I have, the more attack I have, or the more dead Pokemon I have, the uh, stronger my move is. We're basically just gonna kill every Pokemon we have and go in there. Okay, Citadel. Citadel? It lives in frigid regions and pods of five or so individuals. It loves the minerals found in snow and ice. It is a very cute boy. Oh, he's smiling. All right. I wanted to do this just to see if I'd level up, but unfortunately, not level up, but uh, what am I saying? If I would evolve, there we go. But unfortunately, we did not. So we'll continue to mosey on over. Wow, they have a lot of cool. This is one of my favorite ice type as well. The uh, the Avalog line, of course, it's not the best Pokemon to use, but uh, I do think it looks really nice. I think these things called Bergmite. Yes, of course. Wrong zones here, okay. Sneasels, nice. So Weavile is in the game as well. This is your spot. You could have it. I'm just passing. What is that? What the hell is that? Oh, the dogs, the grief hounds. Aw. Does that mean the the doggy came up here and died? Bear dick, Jesus. A deli bird. Just say every single Pokemon you see, Mark. That's that's a great way to do commentary. It's a good thing I'm just skipping past all this crap. Or editing out, I should say. Looks like the God of War emblem. Okay, so my plan is in full effect, ladies and gentlemen. We do have our Houndstone here holding the Choice Scarf. Uh, of course, it boosts the speed, uh, uses speed stat, but we can only use a single move. And uh, everyone is dead before, of course, palm out, just in case we need that individual to help us out in the end. But uh, four Pokemon dead is base 200 for his ghost type attack, as well as the 50 that it normally is. So base 250, plus, of course, the stab. And let me check my uh, Terra type. 
My terror type is psychic. It's not even ghost. So terror typing doesn't even really matter in this gym. So let's mosey on up. So stiff. That's kind of weird to say. Uh, looks like a music stand is up there. Maybe this is guys like a rock and roll dude. Regardless, we're about to find out. Is that him? No, who is this? Jackie. It's Jackie. Jack Woo, I mean. Jack Q. Uh, how does a treasure hunt? Sure have. I've been doing great. It's like, you haven't been taking your classes. I'm doing all the gyms. I mean, I'm doing all of them. You got a lucky egg. Holy crap. Okay. Well, that's great to have. Thank you so much. Now, what we got to do is pokey gen in a bunch of lucky eggs to level up things faster. Welcome to the Menten Navera gym. Very good. Very good. Great. Now, in order to face the gym leader, Rhyme, we must pass the gym test. That means warming up the audience for the main event. That's right. You're the opening act. Okay. Your job is to get up on the stage, show us some dead fierce Pokemon battles, get the crowd excited before the gym leaders begins. Okay, cool. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. That means we're going to have to fight individuals, which means we're going to be using Palm Op because, of course, we need uh, Dreadhound's PP to attack for the gym. So let's go. Let's send out Palm Op. Mosey on over here. I wonder how many gym battles we're going to have or Pokemon battles we have to fight. I guess we're going to find out right now. Uh, three times in a row. Okay. That should be fairly simple. Let's do this. He looks so sad. So we're the opening act and the main event. <clears throat> wow, they just have tombstones there. That's kind of ominous. What's up? I killed it. I killed the gnat. Thank you. Uh, double battles. Oh, no. I was not aware of what was... I only have two Pokemon. <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, this kid looks cool. Let's do this. Challenged by Jim Tass. Jim Trainer Tass. Shuppet and Greedyard. Okay, this should be fairly simple. Uh, for this guy, we will do... Um, let's just wild charge. It doesn't really matter. Uh, the Shuppet. And let's crunch the uh, Graveyard. There we go. Critical hit, not complaining. I forgot we had crunch. So we're locked into crunch, though. We are fighting ghost-type Pokemon, so I don't think it will necessarily matter. That didn't kill. Holy crap. Thank God this thing is just a little Pokemon. Wow, this battle is amazing. Okay, that's good to know. My attack rose. And my special attack rose. Okay. I wonder why. Uh, let's Metal Claw this bad boy. He only has these two Pokemon, so fairly simple. They better not heal my Pokemon, or else I did that all for nothing. Bada boom, bada bing. Nice. Defeated Gym Trainer Tass. Get on my face, kid. You're trash. One plus one is two, right? You're damn. Oh. I don't know how long my webcam was off, but <laughs> there we go. One, two, three. Three, two, one. That's how I sync my video. If I forgot to do it just now, I do apologize. The audience is getting louder. All right, two more. Oh my goodness. They did it. It took me like 10 minutes to kill my Pokemon. Wasted my time. Regardless, we'll get through it. Haunter and Miss Magius. I can't believe they did that. That's so crazy. That's insane. It didn't even give me the option. Let's dig the Haunter. Uh, let's Zen Headbutt the Miss Magius. Miss Drevis, I should say. That's so unfortunate. 
Palmont was hurt by recoil, of course. Pain split. We both have full HP, my silly head. You silly head, I should say. That did nothing. The trainer might actually be good. Of course I'm good. I don't need this boost. Don't make it easy on me. I can't believe they healed me, man. That's so upsetting. I had a plan in everything. I could go back and kill my Pokemon again. It's no big deal. It's just that I already did it. Whoa, her hair is clipping through her cheek. That's kind of weird. I might only be doing this gym in this video, maybe. Yannis is getting really excited. And my reason for that is because I had to fight Naomi. Whoa, me. Mick Sludge. MC Sludge, I should say. Okay. You better have more than two fucking Pokemon, my guy. Did I get healed? If not, then I could, uh... Sableye and Drifflim, huh? I did get healed. Okay, I'm not even going to worry about it. Uh, let's super effective the Drifflim. And Sableye, of course, doesn't isn't going to have anything, so I'm just going to flamethrower the Sableye. Uh, this thing might have Aftermath. It does. How much did that do? Uh, not enough. There we go, level 38. Wants to learn Crunch, of course. We can get rid of Bite. Crunch is obviously better than Bite. Hit him with the Flamethrower. Get a crap ton of damage, of course. Use Mean Look, which is going to decrease our speed, which isn't necessarily going to matter. It can no longer escape. Never mind, that's even more worthless. I can't believe I have to go redo my killing of my Pokemon. That sounds so weird, doesn't it? Uh, let's just wild charge again. I can't believe they only have one Pokemon. We're in. We're at the sixth gym, level forties, and they still only have one Pokemon. Good job, Game Freak. Yeah, I, I sludged you up, all right. And you loved every bit of it, you dirty bastard. What? Okay, Knackle Stack is evolving. I didn't expect this at all. What do you turn into? Oh my goodness. Garganalac. Garganacle. 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 This thing looks like a freaking sand temple from freaking Minecraft. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to the team, Gar Garganical. Hammer arm. Ooh, okay. Let's forget a move. I think we don't even have an attack. It lowers user speed stat. I'm, I'm a slow boy anyways. We don't really need headbutt. Very nice. That's really interesting. The stage lit up. Nice. Uh oh. The honest excited has reached a bigger pitch. Whoa, awesome. That was a great battle. How lucky. That's a rare sight. Thank you, Caroline. Congratulations, you Pete. You passed the gym test. Very good. I guess I don't have to go do that killing thing. I just thought it'd be a cool thing to do. Give it up for a Mick of Rip. What? Oh crap, it's happening right now. I thought I was going to be able to go heal or something. Rhyme, 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 rhyme. Is he going to have a Mr. Rhyme? That's a female. What's with all this noise I'm hearing? The crowd's so loud it could wake up the dead. Oh, let me tell you what I hear. You feeling good? Excuse me. 
You're not even gonna rhyme? Congrats on the gym. That was sick. Yo, thanks. Give us a minute. Oh, okay, cool. So I'm actually going to do it. I'm gonna attempt to defeat the gym the way I wanted to. All right, everyone. I yet again defeated or destroyed all of my Pokemon just to see if this would work. And I actually did Google when this guy evolved. I don't. I didn't want to cheat, but I wanted to see. And it seems like I'm one level away from evolving this. Uh, my Tinka Tinka Ton Tinka. I forgot what his name was. But we're gonna level him up. Tinka Tough. There we go. And he, he's gonna evolve now. So let's see, let's see what this thing looks like. I did see it on Twitter. It does look really cool. That's why I wanted to add it to the team. Look at that freaking boy, dude. He's got a frick. He's got the hammer from Dark Souls. Tinka Ton. The hammer tops 220 pounds, yet it's swung around easily by Tinka Ton as it steals whatever it pleases and carries its plunder back home. It's like Thor. Awesome. Tinkaton wants to use Gigaton Hammer. This user swings its whole body around to attack its huge hammer. This can't be used twice in a row. 160. Get out of here, Metal Claw. What the hell? Tinkaton forgot Metal Claw and learned Gigaton Hammer. That means you can use it and then use a different move and then use it and use a different move. Awesome. All right, so let's go take on the gym. We have two Pokemon, but that's kind of the plan. Wow, that poo, that poke, that poo, that Pokemon's gonna be so good for the next gym. But for now, let's moozy on over here. Nope, we're supposed to go inside, Mark. Go inside. Hello? The audience is raffled by a gym leader. Go talk to the lobby. That's what I meant to do. Head on in here. And I feel like I did a lot this episode, so I'm gonna end it after this gym leader. We're not going to go fight the Titan until next episode. And next episode will result us from fighting a Titan and then taking on a psychic type gym leader. So it's going to be really fun. After that, the next episode after that will be ice and fairy type. And then the dragon Titan and then the fighting star base. And then we're basically done with everything. Wow, that's quite insane. Yo, yo. It's a gym leader, I'm assuming. Oh, a, a rap battle, huh? I'm playing Pokemon, about to use Yawn, then I'm gonna rip off your thong and go down on you. Sorry, stop. <laughs> this is my time, this is my day. You're gonna stand in my way. Listen, Rhyme, your reign ends here. You're gonna get rung up by this pro cashier. Can I ask why they're uh, why they're dark skin individuals that are doing the rhyming? Pro cashier, I'm about to check out. Must have got your rhymes on deep discount. Damn, please, you think you could step in my game? Fool, I got rhyme right here in my name. I'm a specter. I'm a specter for which there is no protector. The victory unto me will render the crowd sees you're a pre pretender. You want to end my rhyme? You want to end my reign? Keep, yeah, keep dreaming. Buy a book of rhymes, kid, and start reading. Damn. Boom, chicka, boom, 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 chicka, boom. What the hell? All right, let's, well, let's take on the gym. That was over way too fast. It got boring. Okay, let's do this. I'm a Pokemon master. I'm here for a gym battle. I have to sneeze again. Jesus. Excuse me. You're captivated by the show I put on, huh? Sure. I rap what's in my soul, baby. Weaving words into a symphony of poetry. Don't try it with me. You won't last around. Like my Sableye, my mean look will lock you down. I used to, I used to have a Pokemon rap back in my day. My skills are ghost types. I am well aware of that. All right, let's see what we can do here. Dead or alive, let's make this a vibe. They use the word vibe a lot. All right, what are you pointing at down there, lady? 
Gym leader rhyme. It's a double freaking battle. I forgot. What? I wasted so much time. I wasted so much time killing these stupid Pokemon. Just for them to heal? Oh my god. That's so upsetting. <laughs> Regardless, it'll make it easier for me, I guess. Razor Leaf to, to break the Mimikyu's uh, disguise, of course. That's so upsetting. <laughs> I'm so upset. Okay. Sent out Roundstone, or Houndstone, I should say, my bad. Houndstone, Mark, come on now. Is this your ace? No, you're gonna have a non-ghost type as your ace. That's how you usually do things. And I get an attack increase. Why is it making this game easier for me? I don't want it to be easier for me. I let's wild charge the Mimikyu, because Mimikyu is a pretty scary Pokemon, and we'll Houndstone, we'll crunch the Houndstone. Hun Hounds Houndstone, Mark. Mimikyu fainted. Damage by recoil. Hopefully this Houndstone takes out my my uh, Palmot. That way when I put my Houndstone in, Houndstone in, I'll be able to do some damage. And that's what it's looking like here. So let's go over to my Houndstone. Houndstone, I keep saying. There we go. And Toxtricity. Okay, a ghost type Toxtricity. That's pretty cool. Nice, she totally nailed that Pokemon weakness. Wow, yeah, she's so good at this game. Unless they're talking about me. Am I going to get another increase? Wow. Why? Why? All right, well, let's uh, last respect this Toxtricity and let's... um. Let's crunch the Houndstone. Kick back, relax, and grab yourself a beverage. A hop if you want to just bounce to my lever ridge. Okay, now I see why they have the, the tombstones. It's to egg on their Houndstone. And little puppies jamming out over there. Okay, we're not going to listen to your rap anymore. Come on. There you go. This girl's like a Satanist, dude. What the hell is happening? All this it all this hype just to get one shot, my guy. Hopefully, last respects. Get out, <laughs> get out of my sight, dude. You think you're good, but you're not. Been recording for an hour. This is gonna be like a thirty-minute video. I wasted so much time. There we go. And you're dead. Get out of my face. Wasting my time. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, your rhymes weren't good enough, lady. 7,005. I can't believe I wasted 100,000 Poke Dollars on a choice scarf that I didn't even need. What are you going to give me? What's the... What's the... Uh, okay. Yeah, I'll take it. What's the uh, TM you're going to give me, huh? Shadow Ball, okay. It's a special attack, but still super powerful. Catch you later. Nice. There should be a cutscene after, because there always is. Excuse me. There we go. Part of the Elite Four, dude. Hassle. Greetings once more, Caroline. I was watching your battle with the gym leader from the sidelines, and I must say, I thought it was simply excellent. Full marks, gold star, extra credit even... Hardly had you hardly had you sent out that palm op before you launched into your strategy. Yeah, thank you, man. Stop riding my dick. I'm a female. I admit, after you gather all gym badges, as a member of the day four, I await the day. Oh, of course, I do too. I'm I am extremely excited. 
Awesome. Well, I'm going to end the video, guys. I'm going to end the video here, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And next episode, we'll be taking on the Ground Titan as well as the Psychic Type Gem. Have a wonderful day.